Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Megan and today I'm doing something that's way out of my comfort zone and something that I usually never do and that is doing makeup. Um, the little makeup that I know is mostly from watching other YouTubers and because I'm no makeup guru or anything like that but um, Allie Glines, one of my favorite YouTubers on here is um, she does makeup tutorials and she said that you can find compar comparable um, makeup at Dollar General they have their own line called Believe and it is comparable to other high-end makeups how they do it I don't know I hope I couldn't believe it when she said that but I was like well I need to go try that out and I was like well if anybody out there like me can't believe that then you know just let's watch this video and see if it's really true I will post Ali Glenn's information down in the description box um the first thing I'm gonna do this is a full face of this brand believe from Dollar General I we are celebrating David's birthday at his parents house today so I'm gonna be wearing it all day long and then I'm gonna come back tonight and tell you how it wore uh, the first thing I'm putting on is not the believe brand um, I just got some Neutrogena um, sunscreen uh, face sunscreen um, believe doesn't have that I know of they have like pretty much everything for your face full face of makeup but I don't think they have sunscreen um, so I picked some of this up it's not the physical physical thing, um, sunscreen that everybody's saying is so great but I'm 35 and I'm just now starting to wear sunscreen on my face as a daily actually this is the first day as a daily uh, thing that's probably why I have sunspots and age spots right <laughs> let me get a little bit more so this is a new thing I'm doing try to take care of my skin and also I don't have like a morning routine with like toner and all that stuff I feel like I used to when I was like a teenager but then I just kind of stopped doing it and I, it was never like I don't know if I did everything I was supposed to do but if anybody has like a good like morning like skin routine let me know because I'm starting to look into that I feel like I should put a little down my neck okay again I told you that no makeup guru or anything so I'm not really sure about every what, what I'm supposed to do or how I'm supposed to use it but this first thing I got was this radiantly primed face primer ah. and I'm going to take the security tag off first that would probably help and I guess I'll just put it on with my fingers it's a little tinted I just started using primer too and I do like the way it is this is a little uh has some sparkle to it a little glow if you like that it gives a little I want to say color the other primer that I use I got a free sample and I bought something on Ultra at Ultra or is it Sephora? I think it's Ultra. And they gave you like a, um, sorry, I have a mirror over here. They gave um, me a free sample of this primer and that it was white. So this gives you a little shimmer. Um, I don't know if I even put that on all the way correctly. And then I don't know if you're supposed to use this next thing with your foundation or not it is a skin finish tinted moisturizer um but we're just gonna do it I want to try out all their products and also I hope this doesn't like give me like a rash or <laughs> um break me out because I do have pretty sensitive skin but again Ali said that this is supposed to be comparable to high-end products 
she's probably if if she would watch my video I don't know if she would but if she did she's probably gonna be watching me like Megan you're not doing any of that correctly <laughs> oh oh okay again I don't know if you're supposed to wear this with foundation it is a tinted moisturizer this might be something you wear um, when it's a no makeup makeup day or something like that but we are just going to add it on and see what happens feel that like that's nice and on there I think this did this say HM Plus put it on clean face apply to clean face oops I probably should put that on before the primer I feel like primer should go on before I don't know next is hey, this makeup sponge um, believe it or not I've never used one of these I've always used one of those you know like your mom uses those cheap ones you buy at the drugstore um, but I've been wanting to use them it says use sponge damp for buildable coverage or use dry for full coverage I want full coverage but I also want to it to be buildable got a lot of products today so we're gonna make it buildable so I'm going to go wet it and I'll be right back and the foundation I'm using is it says skin finish foundation medium to full coverage it's what I like and it is in the shade ivory I have no idea if this is the right color for me hopefully it's not too light hopefully not too dark but we are going to find out there was a actually quite a large range of colors there excuse I hope you can't hear my cat in the background he's oh it's a pump hmm. um, he's meowing okay it looks like it may be a good color maybe not let's see I feel like putting this on with a damp sponge when trick come off not sure if I'm a huge fan of it being damp actually I think this might be a good color so I'm just putting a little on the back of my hand feels like it blends in pretty good is it medium the full coverage I don't know but it does blend in well you know what I have also this foundation brush it says a foundation brush designed with the ideal shape density and texture to achieve the most airbrush finish blend foundation a sweeping motion all over face starting in the center so let's try that Ooh, it's kind of soft I like it <laughs> I told my mom that I went and bought um, makeup at Dollar General and she was like maybe you shouldn't tell people how much you spent on it <laughs> but, oh yeah that, that's something else everything there all the makeup um, this brand is this Believe Beauty brand is all $5 or under. So that's another thing that's like you find affordable good makeup for $5 or under. I had to try it out. Okay. Oh, here we go. I like the brush. Post a circle motions. Start at the center of the face. My hair is getting in the way. Oh, I like this. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, I think we're all good here. Four more. Make sure it's all nice and blended. Okay, next I'm going to be putting on. Sorry. Oh, I look a little white in this camera. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be putting on is your covered liquid concealer. I got light beige. And there we go. Um, again, I don't know if this is the right color for me. We're hoping and praying. And also, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be putting it on the right way. You know, I used to put concealer on before 
my foundation, but then I see all these other makeup people put it on afterwards. I ask a couple of them, they're like, well, this is, depends on whatever you like, I guess. But I felt like I was able to blend it out better after foundation. But I started putting it on before now, or after foundation. I used to put it on before, now I put it on after. And I actually like the look. And also, I don't, I'm not even really sure I put it on the right places. But I, I like the way it looks. So, I'm going to put it a little right here. I always see. Ooh, this is like dark. I don't think this is the right. I think I'm supposed to have lighter. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just go along with it. And I thought I had some... I'm looking at all my stuff I have it out on the desk. I thought I bought some eyeshadow primer, but I don't see any. So I'm just gonna use some of this too as a primer. And I'm just gonna use my little, little ring finger to blend this all out. Ooh. Oh, I need to put some on my little dark spots and got just a little acne not much thankfully I don't really everything's falling um thankfully I don't really get much acne anymore again I'm usually I'm used to my concealer to be a little bit lighter forgot to put some under my eyes and then I really look really white in this camera. Uh, and my ring light isn't working anymore. So I'm not getting like the best lighting for y'all. I'm sorry about that. I look a lot better in this mirror than I do on this camera. Okay. On to the next. I got this. Believe Beauty um, powder, loose powder. Believe Beauty matte blur loose powder in light medium. Ooh, is that sting? My face is kind of stinging. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I hope this doesn't make my face get irritated. Allie said it's not supposed to. So, Allie, if my face gets irritated, I'm blaming you. No, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to get the plastic off of there. we go. Then I got this powder brush. It's perfect to apply set and blend powder for an airbrush finish. It's dome shape allows for versatile applications from setting, sculpting, highlighting, and blush application. Apply powder to the tip of the brush and buff in circular motions. Ooh, I do like the brushes, they're soft. Every time I do it in circular motions, my hair gets in the way. This one's not bad. And I know a lot of people do their eyeshadow before they do their foundation for like eyeshadow fallout. But I've never done that, so I'm not doing it today. And I know a lot of people like don't put powder all over their face. I have a pretty oily face, especially my T-zone area. So I'm just gonna put a little extra in the T-zone area. I don't know why I was talking like that. Again, I'm sorry for this lighting. Did I finish my story about the my um, ring light? Well, I buy a ring light. I've been using it in some of our videos if you've been watching it. But it just kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't always work. So I don't have the best lighting right now. And I was wanting to have the good lighting for this makeup tutorial. But I wouldn't say tutorial, makeup, haul, makeup, trying out makeup. I feel like I still need a blend. Okay. Next I am going to do bronzer. In the tropics 
bronzing powder, Havana Sunset, a bronzing powder that provides an instant bronze complexion with a soft satin finish. Blush brush, the angled blush brush. The angled brush is a medium density brush perfect for an even application of color to your cheekbones. Swipe the angled brush head across cheekbones for a blended smooth finish. Can be used for blush and highlighters. And in my case, bronzers. I'm going to put a little up here. Oop, maybe I should have used the, the other brush. Oh. Put a lot in one area. Haven't been out in the sun this summer because of COVID. So I need to, some color on my face. <laughs> I'm pretty white and I have a very fair complexion. Both my kids do too and my husband so they had no, um, they had no luck. Or, yeah. They were doomed to have really fair skin. I'm gonna say doomed. But, yeah. Doomed. <laughs> Mm. Okay, again, I'm not going to say dunes, but they had no chance of having dark skin. It's funny because my dad has really dark skin, but I didn't get no my brother, neither my brother or I got my dad's dark skin. Just a little bit lighter bronzer than I usually use, but it's okay. I've seen some people, or I think it was Allie actually on her channel, she said that she starts here and then she like, you know, kind of works her way like most people, but she said that she saw one person start putting a little over like their nose for like a youthful glow. And they do that with their blush too, so I'm going to do that too. And let's blend this out. Okay. On to blush. I got two blushes, different kind of blushes here. I got a cream blush that I've never really used before until lately. Um, and I actually really like it. And then people say that it's good for when it's like hot outside. Which I think, I would think cream wouldn't be good for hot. But I actually like it. And so it's, this is one is called, it's in this little thing right here. It says, Cream Me Cream Blush Doll Face, a blendable lightweight formula for a perfect buildable pop of color. So I think I'm gonna put this on first, but then I got this other just powdered blush. And this makes me really sad. I got home after buying this and look at it. Oh, no. Um it says get glowing highlight and contour. Oh it's a highlight oh this is not even a blush. Oh it's a bronze blush and highlighting with perfect contouring trio that features palette features a blush bronzer and highlighter to create a, a variety of sculpted looks. Oh, light to medium. Oh, well it does have a um, blush in there. Maybe I'll use a little, I'll use all three. All right, let's, let's start with this one first. The cream one. And I'm going to, just, oh, I hate messing. I mean, it looks so pretty when it's not used yet. Okay, I'm going to start with this one first. I'm just going to kind of dab it to kind of get a nice base of it. Go to the other side. Hope I don't end up looking like a clown. Okay, now I'm going to get this and kind of blend, 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 blend. I always feel like I don't have enough color in my cheeks. I feel like I'm getting color right now. Hopefully it's not the makeup. Give me a rash. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Next is going to my broken palette here. All right, let's get into this blush. Kind of, if I can find it in here. A big piece. Oh, I just made the big piece a small piece. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I feel like this kind of tones down the 
cream brush. Maybe not. What do you think? Sorry for the shadow again. And then also she was saying that you can also curl a little over your nose. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more bronzer on since I wonder if this is the same color bronzer. Since it's in the palette, we're going to use it. We're just going to build over what we have here. Sorry for my cat. He is very vocal. David's asleep right now. We let him sleep in today. And one of our cats is like falling around like a dog. And he wants him up. Okay, so blend, 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 circle, circle, circle. Next, highlighter. I have two different highlighters here, the one that comes in that palette, and then I have this illuminating all over liquid highlighter that leave your skin with a silky kiss glow. Apply with your hands or sponge. Use a highlighter or mix with a foundation for a soft shimmer on cheekbones or accent the I don't know what that word is for a subtle glow and so I'm, I didn't put it with my um, foundation so I'm going to use it as a highlighter and then I'll probably go back over it with that more of the blush one or the powder one I usually don't do that but I like the derm pumps I feel like it gives you like the coverage you or ooh. Um, it's kind of a pinkish color. Um, kind of gives you, you can control it better maybe? Maybe not. Let's see. Um, at first I'm going to kind of do what like I did on the concealer. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be shimmery today. Maybe you, I don't, um, can't control it that much because a lot came out. <laughs> I like, like, the Tin Man. <laughs> Very metallic. Okay, let's put a little under the under the eyes here, or not under the eyes, under eyebrow, a little right here. Okay, let's try to blend this out. Oh, oh, oh! I tried a lot. That's that's a lot. I should have brought like a makeup wipe with me. Oh, that's a lot. Um, let's get this little sponge here and kind of blot that out, try to blend it out. I'm going to be glowing today. And I still have another highlighter I'm going to put on all of this. Ooh. <laughs> okay, move that over. Now we're getting another highlighter. Hello, my son is awake. Good morning. Let's... Maybe this will tone down some of that shimmer. What oh, going on there? Good morning. That's the color of the sun. That's the color of the sun. My shirt is the color of the sun. It's bright, isn't it? Okay. Let's blend this a little bit better. I think blending definitely helps. Oh, I didn't put, did I put this down the front of my face? I don't remember, so we're going to do it again. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. How does this look? Shiny? <laughs> okay. So, if you buy this and you use this um, all over glow, make sure it very, makes you very glowy. So make sure you just use a little, that skim il illuminator. Okay, now we're going to go on to eyes. I got two different things. I got this, <clears throat> excuse me, this Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow in Vintage. Um, I can't really see it. There we go. And then I also got this other palette. It is a Believe Beauty Eyeshadow Palette in Nearly Nude. This eyeshadow palette is curated with a selection of six highly pigmented mattes, striking shimmers and metallics, all with a smooth and blendable texture. 
This versatile shade collection allows you to create both classic and playful looks that go from day to night. Okay, what do I want to do first? Well, let's, I'm going to start with this one right here first. And I'm going to put that one all over. Just kind of blend out my eye color or eye lid. Just make it, you know what I'm trying to say. Blend it out so the rest of it will go on well. Okay, so I'm going to get a little of this. Oh, this works pretty good. Doesn't seem like much fallout. What had fallout? I remember something had fallout. The bronzer had some fallout. But this doesn't seem to have that much of any. Oh yeah, and I'm using this um, all over eyeshadow brush. The all over shadow brush is perfect for applying and layering eyeshadow to the lid area. After dipping the brush in eyeshadow, top off excess blend seamlessly by moving brush in a windshield white motion. Windshield. I don't feel like you really need to tap it off, but you know, I'll do it anyway. And I, it's weird. I feel like this eye doesn't like grab on to the eyeshadow color as much as this eye. I don't know. I'm weird. It could just be my imagination. All right, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to go with this little lighter, like, pinkish color. Let's do that. I want to do that in the inside. I'm liking the way this goes on. Let's do the other eye. Just kind of doing it in the inside. Halfway. I did up like in the crease first, in the middle, and then more down the uh, um, by the eyelashes and then I'm going to come like um the bottom lashes I don't really put mascara under there or eyeliner there anymore because ooh I just saw that concealer or the highlighter it's like a big glob right there um I don't know about that um just because I guess it's a new style not to put that stuff there. Or put mascara or um, eyeliner there. I don't know. Trying to stay hip. Trying to stay in with it. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this one right here. I wish they had names. It's a little bit darker. More purpley, I guess you could say. I'm going to do the outside of my eye. I'm going to start with the crease and work my way down. As I put it up. <laughs> oh, Megan. Then it's going to go in and blend it. Okay. Oh, and then I'm going to put a little... I'm going to put it underneath. And go almost halfway. And go do the other eye. I don't see other makeup artists like using their finger to blend their um, eyeshadow. I have to see them just sit there forever doing this. <laughs> oh, did I do the outside of this one? Okay. Next, I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm just going to lightly just kind of go over the whole eye. Just give it a little more color. See if that blends it at all. I'm you might just take away everything I just did. Surely not, right? And then I'm gonna go underneath, like in the middle. What do you think? Can you tell? Nice and nude. I feel like I need more color. I guess we'll just use the whole palette since that's what I was here anyway, right? And what should I do with this? Let's go down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kind of blend it up a little bit, maybe. That one, like, ooh, like, bad. It was like, oh, I like it. Maybe I should put that on that at first. Well, I don't know. But I kind of like it. Well, I do like it. I do like that color more than I thought I was going to. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next I'm going to do the, not highlight, what is it called? But when you take the light, kind of shimmery light color and put it in 
the right here just to make it lighter because it can get really dark there. Oh yeah, I'm using this color right here. And then you can put some up here with your highlighter. And then I like kind of like blend it, help blend the other eyeshadow in. So right here. Now on to eyeliner. I usually wear black eyeliner and I usually wear like a liquid eyeliner, but um, the store that I went to didn't have any. I, they may have been out of it. I know they were out of black, but um, so I ended up like buying this one. It is a dark champagne metallic. Oh, this is liquid eyeliner. I thought I bought um, a pencil one. Oh well. Um, and I haven't really been using liquid eyeliner actually in a while because. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the pencil. I used pencil for the first time. Nope. I used pencil for the first time the other day. And I, for, since like high school. Nope. And I really liked it. And then, but I also been using, um, just using like the dark, dark eyeshadow around where the liner goes. Because I feel like those are actually are easier to control. But here we go. We have the <laughs> dark champagne um, eyeliner and... I'm gonna put it on. I know I'm gonna look silly when I do it, but oh, ooh, I like this too. It goes on nice. Ooh, it gets really close to your lashes. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can find this in like a uh, black. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go to the other eye. It's like this the bristle parts are like really um heavy duty. So I feel like it just glides right over. I like that. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, next, going on to this Intense Fiber Mascara. High Drama Fiber Mascara in this intense black. It says, tiny fibers coat lashes to great blush, full, dramatic look. And it says, false lash effect. Dramatically full lashes. I haven't been blessed with curly eyelashes my eyelashes are like long but they're like long and straight they're not really curly so i have to you know use one of these little mediger things do dad things and um i don't know let me know do y'all have curly eyelashes or y'all straight both my kids have really nice eyelashes and i feel like i did when i was a kid but once i started like putting mascara mascara and makeup on all the time they kind of got a little bit duller but you know it comes with age, I guess. Oh, you know what? I never used this. Hey, why not? Let's go back to that before we go to the mascara. Just because I said I was going to use everything I have here. I really like the way my eyes look right now. <laughs> I don't know. Let's. I'll just use this a little tiny bit. Because I said I was going to do it. And it said it's a powder. Gel to powder. Oh, where do I want to mess up? The crease? I'm just going to... Who knows, maybe this will look better. If I put some on the bottom, the other color, I'll put this on top and blend it down. It turned out pretty good. I didn't put a whole, whole, whole lot on. I do want to go back and put some of that um, light color on just to make sure it's well blended. Back to the mascara. And also, I don't know if y'all, probably everybody knows this trick, but if this is hotter, hot or warm, it curls your eyelashes really well. Um, sometimes I like to get the, like a hair dryer and warm it up that way. Just don't do it too long because it could burn you. <laughs> this isn't like this for a few seconds to get slightly warm. Don't burn your eyes. Um, don't come see me <laughs> if you burn yourself. Um, but since I don't have a hair dryer right here, 
I'm just gonna blow on it. And also here that you can hold it like this and let it warm for a few few minutes. I was talking about minutes and I just realized you're supposed to let this going way back to the beginning, this primer, you're supposed to let it sit for allow it to sit for one or two minutes. I didn't do that. Live and learn, right? Okay. Back to eyes. <laughs> I'm a mascara. Alright, we're going to uh, Ow, I <laughs> just got my eye. I've never done that before. That's funny. Okay. I'm going to sit here for just a second. And no, this is not the Believe brand. I think I got this pretty thing at Tuesday morning. Okay. Okay, this is what the wand looks like. It's very straight. Seems to go on pretty good. My hair is just wants to get in the way. It wants makeup on it. Ow! <laughs> oh. Well, I have a trick to get it off. Um, you just, if you get mascara around your eye anywhere like I just did, um, let it dry completely and then you can just buff it off. I didn't know that trick until, like, not very long ago. Does everybody have, like, their mascara face? Like, <laughs> mine is like, or work. <laughs> Making sure I get, does anybody else have a weird face? Oh, okay. This is good, I like, it's seems to be going on well and it seems to I like it when it keeps your lashes like separated a little bit I like that I feel like it's a more of a natural look see here's my look here's my face I thought it was this I thought it was like this but it's this I think it's my double chin come out my double my not double my triple chin <laughs> oh no here I go and it's another look Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're like getting like all this over here. My face is like half on. This is where my mirror is. I usually do like, well, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do like um, double lash or du um, double coat, but I'm not gonna do that today. And I'll I'll tell you that why in this why in just a second. This, I mean, it's not like pow like the. I guess if you put more of a coat on, it would be more of a pow. Like where, where did I find it? It's not the high drama fiber effect that I. That it says, well, for one coat, it's not bad. If you're gonna do, you might be able to do more. Um, if you put more on. It might give you that wow drama effect. That's actually not bad for trying to, I don't know how to get the best for you to see it. Not bad for one coat. Okay, warming this up. <sighs> Going on to the next eye. I like to move it down just a little bit so it gets it in two different spots. Okay, back to the mascara. There I go again, poke myself in the eye. Trying to get down there to the root a bit. Okay. I like that. I think I might use that more. No. My son keeps trying to grab my <laughs> thing. No, you cannot <laughs> you cannot grab that. You don't need that. For some reason her legs always going off of that. Or going off my sponges. Not sure why. Okay. Now we are going to the next thing I am using is not is the only other thing besides my um, sunscreen that isn't the beauty, uh, Believe Beauty from General Dollar General. Um, but I've got this at like it's called Christmas Magic, um, and it's like where a bunch of boutiques come together and they sell stuff. Well, I got this. It's called Fab Brows, and um, it comes with like these little stencil things um, but I use that sometimes but sometimes I just do it free-handed but it has like these depending on your hair color and eyebrow color you get different ones these are my duo colors and it's dark brown and chocolate are my colors I've had this for a while 
and um, I just kind of dab in the middle and it and I like putting um, it on one one because it makes my eyelash darker but I also feel like it, any makeup that did get on my um, eyebrows it kind of just moves it away I know there's a lot of like eyebrow pencils and everything like that but I, I do like this okay next I am going to use and I don't, actually don't know if I'm supposed to use this before or after the eyebrow stuff but uh, I got this eyebrow styling gel in clear everybody's starting to wake up now <laughs> And I'm just going to put this up like this. I've never used this before or any kind of gel before. To keep them in place. I feel like my eyebrows got a little cray cray. I uh, haven't gotten them um, waxed in a long time. But oh, I, I like this. I like this a lot. This uh, eyebrow styling gel. I like that a lot. Did I show you? I'll show you one more time. Okay, now on to my lips. Um, I got this long lasting lip liner. It's in It's a Girl. So it's very pink. Um, just like I thought, it is very pink. I feel like Barbie. Okay. Then I have two different lipsticks. Let's see. I guess I'll, I'm going to be putting both on. <laughs> Since that's what I'm supposed to be doing in this video, right? And there's this color. And it is called Satin Crust Lipstick Soft Rose. And then I also have... It scares me that the security thing was not on that lipstick. I said that. I hope no one used that. Let's kind of wipe it off on my hand in case someone used it. Mm. Um, I, this is kind of pretty though on my hand though. Hopefully I haven't, by the time I got this hopefully the germs are gone, right? If someone did use it. Okay. This other one is called Satin Crust Lipstick Vintage Romance. Security tag is on this one. <laughs> okay. I'll put one on one on top and the other one on bottom. And let's see. Hopefully this will mood out the Barbie pink on my lips. That is very pink too. Well, maybe it's just because of my very pink lip liner. Let's do this other one. What do you think? Can you tell the difference? <laughs> Let's rub them together. Mm, very, very pink. Okay. Now I have two different lip glosses. I have this one which is called Honey blush, and let's put that one on the top. Usually, I don't put more than one color on my lips, but this definitely needs to tone down the Barbie lips. And then again, I'm using everything I bought. I don't know how evenly that goat went on. Um, okay, let's put on this other one. It is called. Foxy. Put this on the bottom. Oh, it is not the color I usually wear. It's like a lot more mauve looking. And I usually do tend to go a little more on the um, pinky side. And sometimes I'm like, why do I do that? Maybe I need to grow up a little bit and I'll be a preteen. But let's... I didn't really blend it very well here. Definitely my um, Barbie look is going away. <laughs> Blend them together and gives me a very... We can still see the Barbie lip under there. Which is a fun color. I don't know. I'm trying to think what color this is. They actually came out pretty...
pretty. I like that color actually. I wish you could. I had better light so you could really see it. All right. Now let's. I think that's actually the look. I kind of want to put a little more blush on. I think I'm gonna put a little more of this on the um, powder brush or the cream blush. Okay, I'm putting on more blush just because I feel like I need a little more. And I've never really used cream brushes, cream brush blushes before, but I do really kind of like it. Blend, 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 blend. Okay. Oh man, I just put a big dent in it. Okay, Megan. I think I'm gonna put a little more blush on because I got a little, you know, crazy with that highlighter. Kind of toned it down just a little bit again. I don't want to be like sun shine central. Okay. Now I just want to go in and kind of dab everything in place. Make sure everything looks good. Look at both. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to and get this um, Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. And it says a replenishing makeup setting spray that hydrates, preps, and sets skin for flawless makeup application. Will leave your skin with healthy looking finish. To use, hold bottle six to eight inches away from your face and moist, mist, moist, mist dre uh, directly onto skin. Prime. Apply the, the clean skin before makeup. Did not do that. We have another primer. Set. Apply after makeup to keep it in place all day. And refresh the skin. Can also be used anytime to refresh skin. Okay. Ready? Get it going. has a nice little scent to it okay last okay I have never done this to myself before it is putting but I've been wanting to do it for a um for a while this is also not oh yeah actually it is um I've actually been kind of wanting to do start doing this but I haven't done it yet um is putting on false lashes says fantasize finish false lashes and it and glue is included which is good because I don't have any of that um I think I've only worn false lashes just a few times in my life a couple times maybe maybe a few and the one was my wedding and other might be prom or something like that debutante something I don't know but um I've never put it on myself so this is going to be in the books <laughs> you might get a good laugh out of this I don't know we're gonna try it uh, it says check fit uh, easy three-step application check fit a line band with natural lash line to check fit trim if necessary Two, apply adhesive apply thin lines that use adhesive along bands wait 30 seconds to set apply and three apply lashes secure lash band by securing onto lash line to remove gently peel off lash strip starting at outer corner. Contains one set of lashes and lash glue. I went to dollar dollar store the other day and I um, actually bought one of the things that help you put on the eyelashes. The little thing, <laughs> clipper thing. But of course I can't find it. And... I'll find it as soon as I'm done with the video putting my lashes on. Okay, here is the first. Okay, let's see. Is it going? Okay, where is the glue? Glue, here you are. Why do I feel like this is going to be, like, a big failure? <laughs> this scares me a little bit. On, did it say wait 30 seconds after doing this? Apply, okay, wait, yep, the set, okay. Putting it on, putting it on, gonna put a little more, because I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on it. I feel like you should have enough. I also read, oh, maybe that's not where I was supposed to put it. 
Also, where you could actually put it on your eye. Don't know if that works or not. I haven't tried that. Well, of course, I haven't tried it. Okay. 30 seconds. That's close enough. Okay. Why is that one bending backwards? Don't do that. I don't need you to bend backwards. Okay. Sorry. I'm like going out of the camera. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to wear these lashes. Um, one, I don't think I have them on correctly, but two, I think they may be a little too intense for just an everyday, like, look. Um, we're just going over to David's parents' house for a birthday. And I feel like these are more like, hey, let's go out in the town kind of eyelashes. And I don't even have them, they're not even sticking all the way right. They might just be a little too much for this look. So I think I'm just gonna take them off for now. Maybe I'll try them again later when... Ow! I'm gonna know what I'm doing. I need someone to hold it for me so Yeah, my wallet. son's down there talking, sorry. Okay, um, so I need to go in and fix my eyeliner on that one. And put a, fix my little mascara. I'm gonna put a little more on this side too since I'm not wearing false lashes. And I forgot, before I put my setting spray on, I forgot to um, buffer out those that got on my skin. And I just did it again. So let's go do that too. Hopefully it'll still come out. Where is my wet brush there? You know what, I might just use this. Let's see if this works. No, no, let's see my finger. Yep, that worked pretty good. Alright, so here is my final look. Hold on, I feel like it's getting a little dark down there. Are you ready? To Are you getting ready? I am getting ready. How do you think I look? Good. I look good. Okay, that's good. Thank you. All right. Um, here is the look. I take my hair down. Still a little glowy. Okay. Here is the finished look for now. Oh, I should have done the right here instead better lighting but I will wear it like this and then I will show you tonight what it looks like and see how it stays on my face and nothing's burning or tingling right now that concealer one it's not doing that anymore so there we go okay this is the end of the night I've been wearing this for about 10 hours um, I'm pretty oily on the nose, but I mean that, I'm not sure if I'm, sorry my dog is walking under me, sorry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm more oily than usual. Um, some separation in this area too. And some under, blackness under the eye, but I don't know if this is because I took a nap and that's why I did that. I probably shouldn't have taken a nap, but I was really tired. My eyes still look pretty good. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but besides the oiliness in the T-zone and the little darkness under the eye from the mascara, I think it still looks pretty good. Well, of course, my lips are, um, my lipstick is gone, but it's going to happen after you eat. But everything else looks pretty good. So, is it compare with the top brands well honestly I don't have many top brands I have like a handful of top like designer you call them designer makeup expensive makeup I have like a handful of that and everything else is like department you know like department makeup 
everything else I buy at like Target or Walmart or Walgreens or something like that drugstore makeup but is it comparable to the stuff that I have used um I don't know <laughs> I know that's the whole reason why you're watching this video um some of the stuff yes I don't know like it's hard for me to say because I get I am very oily anyway so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes I think it is comparable like it 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 could be up there with it um, again, I'm not like a makeup guru or anything, but besides me just being oily today, I think it actually went pretty well. Like my eyes, and for the most part, except for underneath, still look look really good. Maybe not foundation. I don't know. I'm still gonna use everything that I bought because I'm not gonna just spend all this money and then not use the makeup. And I think I, I mean I liked everything, and I think the foundation was pretty good until like tonight which most makeup by that time will not be working or still on your face that much anyway the only things that I probably wouldn't rebuy for sure would be the concealer because it did have a little tingle to it and I think it was too dark for me you know it was light beige <laughs> it just I didn't like the, like, it felt like it was a little itchy. So I probably wouldn't do that. And then probably not these eyelashes just because I'm not, I want to start wearing eyelashes. But these were just like way too, like, bam, out there. Like, I'm going to a big event, be on the red carpet or something. And I, I just want more, like, everyday, I, sorry, my dog, <laughs> everyday eyelashes. So that probably are the two things I probably wouldn't buy again if I needed to. Unless I could, no, I'm not, I wouldn't even say that. Okay, something that I didn't think I was going to like um, when I first put it on was the um, lip liner. I was like, well, this is way too pink and I love pink. But this was like really like Barbie pink. But then... Once I put it on with my um, lipsticks and the lip gloss, it looked really good under it. So I may keep using this. Let's see, some stuff for sure that I really, really liked. I really like this cream br blush and doll face. And I really liked the powder eyeshadow and I really liked these too um, this eyeshadow palette and then I liked all the lipsticks I'll definitely be I'll use these the lipsticks and actually now let me put a little of this back on yeah they are a little drying sorry James is laughing in the background but they're not too bad. I do feel like I need to go put some moisturizer on them. I do, I still like them. I'll still wear them. Especially with some gloss. And I, I, I like the glosses too. The Foxy and Honey Blush. And something I've never used before but that I really liked was the Eyebrow Styling Gel. Really, really like this. That is my eyebrows are not going anywhere and then I also did like the mascara in intense black uh, yeah probably I mean it did come off some but I mean I think it does that with every mascara if you go to sleep in it like I did with my, with my nap and then I'll probably um I think I like this setting spray I don't know. I need to use it again. I'm going to try this with my regular makeup and see if it still does the job. And I also really like the brushes. I will probably definitely be using them almost every day. And possibly even buy some more of those. I think I bought all the ones that they had at the store. But when these eventually are like done with, they're old, I probably would, I could see myself maybe buying some more of the brushes. And then everything else was just kind of, yeah, I liked it, but it wasn't like 
oh my gosh, I just loved it, you know? So yeah, um, I told um, David, my husband, if you're new here, um, I was like, yeah, I bought, I said, how do you like my face? He was like, and he like stared at it for a minute. He's like, it looks good. And he said, he said, there's something like around my eyes that was kind of, I guess they went and blended very well. And I was like, yeah, that was my concealer probably. And I tried to like dab it more in. And I said, I got all this face at, um, at the Dollar General. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And he said, well, that's good, but is it safe? Does it have like parabens and all that stuff? He's like, I know you, your European makeup is has more like guidelines that has to go by, and I don't think America's does, United States does. So I was like, I don't know. I need to check up on that, especially for it being under five dollars. Who knows what's all in it? But besides that, I liked it. So, um, if you liked this video and you would like me to do more stuff like this, like I could go start going to like the drug stores and start trying their makeup, different brands, and then I could like save up money and do that. Um, if you like that, give this a thumbs up if you like me to keep doing that or doing to do that, and maybe eventually I can save a lot of money and get some more of the expensive makeup. So, that would be a lot of fun. So, if you like that and you want me to do that, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss our videos. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!